The fines to me don't make sense. You know, when you talk about as hard as we work to accumulate wealth, coming from situations that most people never make it out, and then you get fined the way we get fined, it's actually not set up for us to be wealthy after we're done playing. This job is not set up the way we're taxed. Oh, California? The, like, oh. The way we're taxed, the way we're fined, and you know, you hear about all these programs like this program, this, this program, that is to cover everybody. This program is to teach this guy this. But if I do something wrong, I lose $100,000. Man, it took my mom four years when I was growing up to make $100,000. And I lose that in the night because, what? The referee got mad at me, and he didn't like what I said to him. So I lose $5,000 like that, like on a test. Okay, those were the uh, totally, unbelievably laughable statements made by one Draymond Green a little earlier in the week on Shaq's big podcast. A great name for a podcast of any man. That is over seven feet tall, I'm just saying. All right, so some quick thoughts on this uh, today. First, Draymond Green has generated almost $200 million just in contracts from the National Basketball Association throughout his career. I'm just saying, like, if Draymond Green is having trouble with money and he's blown through $200 million and he's somehow looking to recoup the 900,000 plus dollars he's given up in fines throughout his career, he is absolutely barking up the wrong tree, if you know what I mean. I mean, look, the NBA as a whole, the players who are, you know, pretty good get paid very well. Now, the players who are, you know, at the end of the bench are the players that need to really be concerned about life after the National Basketball Association, at least from a money perspective. So for Draymond Green to actually go on this podcast with Shaquille O'Neal and indicate uh, that uh, you know all the fines are affecting his ability to actually generate wealth post-National Basketball Association career is the very definition of of a ridiculous statement. You've been listening to the Underrated Podcast with Dave Dabba. Presented by Underrated.media. See you next time.